Sherry, Sherry baby. Okay, that that's just not right. <clears throat> Big girls, don't cry. Okay, 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 okay. I get it. Stop. Jesus. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review Jersey Boys. And look, I even got this Jersey Boys pin right here. So, Jersey Boys is based off of the hit Broadway musical Jersey Boys. It is directed and produced by Clint Eastwood. I just have to give these four actors shout outs because they really deserve it. The film stars John Lloyd Young, Vincent Piazza, Edich Bergen, Michael Lomenda, and the actors I'm really just familiar with in this movie is Steve Sharipa and Christopher Walken. The plot for Jersey Boys is how Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons, they got started. We see how they broke up and we see how the lives of the group being broken up goes. That's really all you need to know for Jersey Boys. Now my best buddy Serrano Reyes J did go to the screening for this film with me. He's not able to review this film with me though because he's really busy with work. But in his words, he really liked this film. He thought it was very well made. He had a lot of fun listening to the music. He thought the plot was well written and he just really enjoyed the movie overall. He just told me his only flaws was just that it got a little boring in a couple of moments but it was still very well made and I believe he told me he gives it like a 4.5 out of 5 stars. As for my thoughts on Jersey Boys, I went into this film very interested and I even understand that they actually got a few actors from the Broadway musical to be in this film and I believe John Lloyd Young, the one who plays Frankie Valli, was the was one of those few actors from the Broadway to actually do this movie, which is really impressive to me. With it being not very well received by critics or even the audience, I gotta say, I like this movie. This is a good movie in my opinion. I really don't understand the disappointment to be honest. Like, yeah, I haven't seen the Broadway musical, but I'm I'm gonna be honest right there, but I still thought as a movie it was good and Really, for a movie to present Frankie Valli in the Four Seasons, I don't really see much wrong with the movie. I had a fun time with this biography drama film. The storyline was very well written. I thought the actors did a very well done job. Oh my gosh, John Lloyd Young. He really sounds like Frankie Valli though. Holy shit. And the others did a very well done job presenting the Four Seasons, listening to the classic musics like Sherry or Big Girls Don't Cry, all of the songs that we've cherished to our hearts. I was even dancing around. It was so funny because Saran Reyes J, who was sitting right next to me, he was actually repeating the lyrics. Like, uh, he's not singing it aloud, he's just whispering up. But I was even turning around in my seat going... <laughs> But like there was nothing wrong with that. He was having fun. He was just kind of singing along the lyrics. So obviously he's a fan of Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons just like me. The cinematography looks really good. I do think people are being really harsh with Clint Eastwood saying that he's senile. I highly disagree with that. Sure the man is aging but he still has talent and not only acting but directing. Like I'll admit Clint Eastwood's last two directed films haven't been very memorable. I didn't like J. Edgar. It wasn't terrible but I just found it to be a very boring movie. Hereafter is a slight improvement over J. Edgar. It had some interesting moments but it also had some very boring moments so I wasn't too impressed with Hereafter or even J. Edgar. So Jersey Boys to me is a step up from Clint Eastwood's last two directed films. Besides these four actors that did a very well done job presenting the four seasons, I thought Christopher Walken, you know, he's basically just playing Christopher Walken, but he did a really good job in this film and you could say that he was actually one of those people that was defending Frankie Valli. Steve Sharipa, he's not in here too much, but when he is on, he does a really good job and the drama. 
I really did feel for the characters and just really the stuff that was going on during the group's harsh times. I really felt into the drama mainly for Frankie Valley, so the film did a really good job making me actually care for the group, mainly Frankie Valley. It was just really heartbreaking, especially as the movie progresses more and more. Now, my only flaws with this film is that does it run a little too long? Yes, I do think it does. The movie is like. 2 hours and 22 minutes, 15 minutes, somewhere around there. Some parts of the film do really drag for me. I was really bored in some moments of this film. And there was also this point in the film where it just skips ahead 5 years. Like, you don't even know what happened to the group in those 5 years. So, it, it's like to me, they kind of leave you hanging because I'm sure the movie tried to squeeze in as much as they could, but I just didn't like how they skipped five years ahead not letting us know what happened in those five years it was just quite a bit um, not say messy but um yeah i just felt like more information could have been added in there overall i had a very fun time with jersey boys i did like it so i'm going to give jersey boys three out of four stars I am 22 Tiger Dude! Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!